YouTube family, what's good, what's good? All right, yo, let's kick it. So today, earlier, I was on somebody's channel and the question that they posed on a YouTube poll was, hey, do you think the earth is flat or do you think it's a ball? And typically people say, do you think it's round? To which I can answer, simply answer and truthfully answer, well, pizza's around, frisbee's around, dishes tend to be round, coins and damn shillings can be round, right? But they're also flat. So I could be a smart ass like that. But instead, I answered truthfully how I understand this world to be. So, of course, I answered it was flat. And when I did, only 7% answered that it was flat. Pretty much what I expected. Everybody else, you know, round. 90% round, a, a small percentage said that they were unsure. Fine, whatever, cool. So, with that, after answering that poll, of course, you know, I went through the comment section. This is the best part. So everybody's saying the typical, every true earther has heard this at one time or another, right? Oh, uh, wow. They need to do away with these flat earthers, one. Another one is, hey, you know, if the earth was flat, then a cat would knock over everything off the edge, one. Uh, two, another one is, uh, if it's flat, why is it that boats go over the horizon and Christopher Columbus experienced the earth being round and he discovered the earth was round and Eratosthenes, everybody's heard all the BS about this false earth, right? This false perception of what earth is. Cool. So with that, of course, I came across some true earth deniers or what folks tend to call Globers. And you know, I was making my comments and stuff like that, but this one stuck out to me in particular. And this guy was like, well, pilots, this, that, the third, right? And then I said, no, no, um, there are pilots that have come out and said that it's totally flat. Even an astronaut has come out and said that it's flat, right? And then I continue with, or you know, or this person continued with, Ironwork 92,000, no it isn't. How would people be able to travel around the globe to the same spot if it was flat? So obviously this person believes that it is a globe. And then I said, that's the thing, it isn't a globe. And it's tough, but you need to unlearn all of your lies that you've learned in order to understand the simplicity of why this earth is a level plane. Hold on now. Then I came across somebody else that says, I highly doubt any pilot considers the earth flat because getting from one distance to another in the shortest amount of time only works on a round earth. Then I said to him, are you willing to bet some money on that? And then, you know, they replied, well, you know, I'm sure some pilots, so on, so forth, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, so I'm saying all that to say this, to say that I haven't forgotten about our pilots, right? Whether you're in the US military, whether you're in a Russian military, Chinese military, African military, any kind of institution where you have to f fly an airplane or a helicopter or any pilot of some, or a dirigible, right? I give you props because these typically tend to be dangerous jobs. So in this video, I want you to take a look at something. This is something that a lot of us forget. This is something that a lot of us, me in particular, you know, I was in the Navy at one time. However, I didn't do time on an aircraft carrier, but I know a lot of people that have, right? But this is basically the experience of a lot of folks on either aircraft carriers or inside the helo itself. Check it out. Picking up this approach after I've already looped around the back of the boat to cross-check the movement of the boat in terms of its pitching up and down and make sure the deck is clear for landing. You'll notice in this approach, unlike the one you saw in part one, because there's a bit more wind and slightly larger waves, I'm actually running perpendicular with the boat. This means I have my nose pointed at the deck and then I'm using a fair amount of lateral... All right, I think you guys know where I'm going with this. So basically, the helo is doing its best to catch up with the boat match the boat's speed, understands if the boat is turning or if the boat is heading in a straight direction. Match the boat's speed, hover exactly where he needs to hover, and then slowly drop, right? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this video in the description box, but you guys understand. I think a lot of folks that have the globe in mind and believe that this earth is a globe either don't know or seem to forget that this earth rotates at 15 degrees 
per hour. Or if you want to break it down into miles per hour, base roughly 1100 MPH. People tend to forget that or they just don't know. They just don't know. So that means that the helicopter either needs to move at that speed to match the earth or it just needs to hover in a, in a place to where it's like, hey, we just going to wait for a whole day, wait for America to come back and then we're going to drop or wherever it is they originated from or wherever it is they're trying to land. You know what I'm saying? So it's not a joke. It's actually this is actually something. So if you think that helicopters are just it's just a gravity thing. Well, just imagine they're trying to a lot of these helicopters are trying to land on boats. Right. Not just let's, let's not even mention a helicopter. Right. An Osprey even or hell, even even an airplane that doesn't have VTOL or vertical takeoff and landing capabilities. Right. That does not because planes like the F-35. Right. The F-35 joint uh, fighter has that vertical takeoff and landing capability. Uh, planes like the Harrier, right? That ugly old plane that has vertical takeoff and landing capability. But not all fixed wing aircraft have that capability. Helos do, right? Helos do as well. That's why, that's what makes helicopters so, so special, right? They're super versatile. But imagine something like an F-16 pilot or F, F anything, right? Fixed wing pilot just trying to land on a moving aircraft carrier. Like this is the reality that many pilots have to experience, whether they're, you know, civilian pilots, not really civilian pilots, actually military pilots trying to land on a moving, a small craft at that. Right. Just imagine it's wild, but it's not possible if the earth were a spinning ball, because if it was a spinning ball, they'd have to either match that speed or slow their butt down because they're heading in the complete opposite direction of the rotation of the planet. Does that make any sense? If it doesn't make any sense, tell me how crazy or how foolish I am and educate me as to why it is I'm wrong. All right, YouTube family, that's all I got. I wish y'all nothing but the best. Health, wealth, love, prosperity, but most of all, wisdom. That's all I got. Love you. I'm out. Peace.